What is happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive. Thank you all for joining me tonight for the return of Mailbag Monday. And we got a lot of stuff to tear into in this episode. We have packages of things that I picked up personally off of the internet. And we also have a PWE and two bulbous, and when I say bulbous, I mean bursting at the freaking seams, boxes full of what I think may be goodies, possible omens, one of the boxes has Pee Wee Herman stickers around it, so that has to tell you that it's going to be good. So let the debauchery unfold and let us get down to it. Thank you guys all for being here. I decided to do this video live just because it seemed a lot easier than everything else. I'm not sure why I can't see the chat. There it is. Jeff May, Paul L., everybody else. Thank you guys all for being here. And... Um, we have to salute the $2,000 88 Tops Brian Fisher, of course. It was found recently in the garage. But the first thing we're going to take a look at is this package that I've been waiting for for about 10 or so days. It's something I bought off eBay randomly. Um, it's a card that I've wanted for a while. This is a very unorthodox way to uh, put this card in this packaging. But as eBay buy... It's a guy that only has one true rookie card, and of course, if you know me, you know that I really only collect rookies and errors and maybe a couple other random things, but this is one I didn't have. This is uh, No More Garcia Para 92 Tops Traded Gold, which at one point in time, the regular version of this card was worth 100 bucks, which is pretty nuts. Our parents or our dad bought us a set back in 1992 for Christmas. And we thought it was freaking awesome. We thought Wake, Wake, Tim Wakefield would be in the set back then. Of course, he ended up not being in it, but had no more rookie and also Jason Veritek. And I picked this up off eBay for like 20 bucks, but wasn't that the weirdest way to put that in there? So the seller literally put it in like this, not taped in there or anything. It just literally took a top loader and shoved it in the card saver upside down. <laughs> never seen that before in my entire life, but... It's one that uh, it's a card that I've never picked up. I never really see it when I go to card shows or flea markets or anything. I feel like the gold ones are a little more harder to come by. So it costs you 20 bucks for a no more gold rookie. I will put that in my rookie box. And um, that was my only pickup for the last week. So let's get into some actual freaking mail. This one you may recognize. Well, I guess you really can't be here and feel it with me like I am, but... It's three cards that are side by side, and it is coming the whole way from Ohio, which is only a state over, but it is from our buddy Junk Wax Dude, Uniontown, Ohio. Junk Wax Dude has sent me a few packages. He sells on eBay. If you go on eBay and type in Junk Wax Dude, you will see a bunch of stuff he has for sale. I'll link it down below in the description after this video uploads so you can go on there and you can purchase some of his card but he has legit one of ones that he makes all kinds of different variations of parallels paul f is pumped on that appearance let's see what junk wax dude says if i can get this out of the envelope the official seal of junk wax dude and <laughs> kevin bass oh no trevor williams is gonna go nuts over these. Before we take a look at those, let's see what Junk Wax Dude says. I couldn't resist the urge to get cop in the many pants of Kevin Bass craze. That craze is literally overtaking the internet right now that your viewers have so savagely ripped into. We have so many different variations of Kevin Bass, and it all it all started with this red pants of bass that I randomly found in a collection I bought. That some kid or maybe middle-aged man, even, who knows, decided to color his pants red. And now, because of that, we have all kinds of debauchery happening and parallels being custom-made. So I'm sending along a few one-of-my-kind custom cards of Kevin Bass and his custom pants, including the Chip Dice black polka dot pants, one of one, the Sonic Blast gold polka dot pants, and the groovy red polka dot pants. These are freaking intense. If anyone is interested in purchasing custom junk wax era cards like this, so there's an eBay store, which I'll, I'll link this down below. Like I said, these cards can also be purchased at the newly renovated Hartville Sports Cards in Hartville, Ohio. That's pretty sick, man. I have not been out there yet. I'll have to make that a stop sometime soon. The Junk Wax Dude custom card art pop report can be found here. If you want to pause that or I'll, maybe I'll just link that down below as well. You can look all that up. Thank you for helping Keep helping keep the vibe of Kevin Bass custom pants alive. Sincerely, Junk Wax Dude. Let's take a look at this. The first time 
Floyd Vince's custom shiny cards for your fireplace. They definitely are. We have 88 tops, 87 Donruss, and 92 tops. All kinds of polka dot variations. These are absolutely freaking epic. Where is Trevor Williams when you need him? He is the ultimate Kevin Bass collector. This is the Blast parallel, one of one. We have the Ice parallel and the Groovy parallel. These are freaking sweet. I just don't want to part with these. But they belong in this Kevin Bass collection of absolute randomness. The googly eyes or googly eyed pants of Kevin Bass. And of course, all of the other variations. The pantsless Kevin Bass variations. So many. And of course, the uh, all the other ones in the background that I have on the canvas. But this is freaking sweet. Check out Junk Wax doing eBay and see all the ones he has. He's got Will Clark, Raphael Palmero, a bunch of big name guys. And he sells them like this in lots of three taped together. And um, these are freaking awesome. I still want to know how you do this someday. I really like these ones. These are probably my favorite out of the ones that you do. The uh, ice parallel. But true one of ones. And it looks like we might have Trevor Williams in the house. <laughs> I'm going to have to order some of these. Yeah, definitely do that. Or I feel like these might belong in your collection, Trevor Williams. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we gift these to Trevor Williams? Or should we keep these along with all of the other variations? I will let you guys aside. Appreciate that, Trevor. Mike Willer is also in the house. Says, hello, my, <laughs> my favorite grifter and family. Mike W., what is happening, man? Your favorite grifter salutes you. Welcome. I'm glad that you could uh, make the live stream. I was, I'm still waiting for someone to back up just how uh, I am a grifter. I would love to know. would really love to know about that. Appreciate you being here and everybody else, too. The next two packages we have. Nick West also in the house says, Have you ever worn the actual Kevin Bass red pants? I tried them on one time. I'm not going to go any further than that, though. Nick West actually sent me red pants <laughs> in honor of Kevin Bass. The next one. Big Ray says keep it. So we should keep that with the family of cards, I guess. You should never separate. Well, maybe, perhaps, um, I would reach out to Junk Wax Dude Trevor and to see what he can cook up for you uh, as far as those go. He can make you different ones. Maiden's World Wax is TPA cult for life. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys all for being fellow cult members. The Kool-Aid Party will be coming up very, very soon. And the Kool-Aid Party is probably going to consist of us drinking... At least eight-year-old cans of Ecto Cooler. I have enough for everybody, so that's probably how we're going to do that. We're going to open packs of Nutty Don Russ and drink eight-year-old Ecto Cooler. Keep an eye out for the TPA Kool-Aid Party coming to this year's national. <laughs> Glorious Zevia Punch. And speaking of Zevia, the unofficial sponsor of this and every other video done here. Freaking Zevia. And I haven't been able to find caffeine free, which is my personal favorite. So I've been drinking cola, which is pretty good. I like it regardless. We got Chaos in the house. Wally Moon's here. Wally Moon is probably pumped to see his package unveiled. We're saving that for last, I guess. Um, the next one's from Mikey G. The box is too big, so I'm not going to show your name, Mikey, but I think Mikey is definitely in here. Paul says, tried Zevia. The cola one was all right, but the cherry cola one sucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care if the cherry cola one that much. It's kind of like an acquired taste, I guess. But if you want to drink like a crap ton of pop and not gain any weight and not rot your teeth out from sugar and everything else, then Zevia might be the drink for you. You can drink it and not feel bad, literally. But Mikey G, we got a bunch of stuff in here. We have a shirt. I have not pre-screened any of these, so there might be fecal matter in here or who knows what else. I don't know what this is. Some sort of straw. Hopefully no illegal substances to go along with it. <laughs> pull out the Fago. Pull out the Fago. Pull out the Insane Clown Posse albums. Let us get down. Oh, oh man. We got something wrapped in bubble wrap. It looks like it might be a... What is this? It's a Stay Puffed figure of some sort. What is this? I have never seen this. It looks like it's a relatively new release from 2024. It must be for... Frozen Empire, which I have not watched yet. I have not gone and seen it, which probably shock every single one of you. I'm not sure what this is. Is this a cookie jar or something? I have no idea. I guess we'll see what the note says. So before we look at all this stuff, what's <laughs> Joe Oliver 93 Donruss? The card's so ridiculous. Mike is from movie theater. That's sick, man. What is it? What is that a is it a uh, popcorn bucket or just some sort of a 
It looks like his head almost twists off. We have Mar Mark Davis. What the hell is this? I'm obsessed with this card. Mike Hughes says, hope things are well. I found a few things I, I thought would tickle your fancy. We love to tickle fancies around here. And also tickle your minty, lavish, bulbous, ditty vibe, as Paul L would say. As always, thank you for creating this TPI community of ours. Regards, Mikey G. Please defile the shirt as you see fit. Willie McGee always making us look uncomfortable. And Joe Oliver just, just having the time of his freaking life diving in the dirt. Absolutely epic. We have Mark Davis, 86 tops, which has some sort of printing blemish that, as you can imagine, I'm absolutely obsessed with. There's all kinds of 86 tops variations and, and errors that are coming out as of recently, like the Clemens Blue Streak Air. Um, I think Terry Pohl has a Blue Streak Air. Tom Seaver has one. I've never seen them until recently. Paul says, might as well tickle your minty, lavish, fancy, bulbous, bugaboo, swashbuckle, hanky-panky, ditty vibe. There it is. But this has, it's almost like something rubbed off on it over time. Absolutely freaking epic. I love this. I, it's not technically an error card or recognized as an error card, but I probably put it in to my oddities box, I'm guessing. The oddities collection of weird stuff printed on cards that uh, I have scattered in all kinds of different boxes. One day, eventually, I'll make a video on that. But that's pretty freaking sick, Mikey. I like that a lot. The straw is for this, apparently. I just finally put two and two together after all these minutes. And you drink out of it. That's pretty freaking awesome, man. That is very cool. I've seen a lot of stuff from the movie theaters uh, regarding this release. I saw the Ghost Trap popcorn bucket. I actually almost bought it yesterday. It was like 40 50 bucks. I'm like, that's pretty cool, but I don't know what to do with it. So um, I never have seen that yet. Pretty freaking epic. Mikey G says, the Stay Puff is a soda container from the AMC Theater. That is so cool, man, that you uh, thought of me when you went to the theaters. Did you actually see the movie? Did you see the movie? Did you like it? I must know, but that is freaking epic. The shirt is... <laughs> what is this? Backyard break shirt. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Where did you get this at? Backyard breaks, uh, a break channel. I guess they kind of a YouTube, but I think they do more on like maybe Facebook or Instagram, but it's kind of like a bunch of frat boys just being rowdy and just yelling, let's go, and pulling, trying to pull hits and just giving through everything else. From what I've seen and what I've heard, not the most popular um, with actual collectors, more so for investors, I would say, of anything else, and people that have just gotten the hobby to try to make a quick buck off it. But <laughs> I'm probably, I don't know what I'll do with that. I go to the Atlantic State National. They're selling shirts there. TPI says, <laughs> pants in America. <laughs> oh, that is epic. They're guys looking for scores. It's, it's kind of a bunch of rowdy frat boys having a time of their lives. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with that. I'm, I feel like I need to wear that to the national now to throw people off. But this is absolutely sick. Mikey, that's freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much for uh, thinking of me. And did you see the movie, though? I missed your comment on it. Backyard breaks are from my area. See them in Chipotle sometime. That's interesting. Frat boys and belly shirts. Yeah, they had that one chick on there, Sarah, who was, like, super hot, though. And she left. Because I, I follow her on, I follow her Instagram on my toy page. We need to get Sarah to be the official TPIA girl. Somebody line that up. I don't know where she lives at. But I think she lives in Florida, but still, line it up and make it happen. Reach out to Sarah and tell her that she needs to work for TPIA and nobody else, because everything else is crap. My use says, I did not see it, but I saw the container. That's freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much. Chaos is hammer, Sarah. <laughs> Chipotle versus Taco Bell. Eh, I'm going to go with Taco Bell every single time. Chipotle pisses me off because uh, I like pay extra for stuff there. I buy extra sofritas, and uh, they always screw me over on it every single time, and I regret getting it every time. It's like four dollars more, and then I feel like they just like skimp me on it. They do that with everything, so I kind of am very hostile towards Chipotle in recent times. <laughs> Moe's versus Moe's is better than Chipotle. This next one's from Joseph C. And I got to show you guys the box on this one. So let me fit this bulbous thing on the camera. So you can see. Mecca like a Mecca hiney ho. You see John B. from Pee Wee. This is very Pee Wee oriented. I'm trying to cover his address as best I can and show you all of these little Easter eggs that are on here. So the side of the box has a sticker of Terry the Pterodactyl. 
or as Randy would call him, Pateri. And I just knocked the hell out of the camera, so that's why I didn't put it on there to begin with, because it's a Bob's box. There's a lot of goodies in there, and uh, we're about to see what's inside. Joseph Seek talked me out of pre-screening this, so I probably shouldn't have let him do that, but I guess he's been working on this for a while. I forgot, is Joseph C. Wally Moon or Brother Jay? Joseph C. is Wally Moon. He'll probably deny that, but he didn't hear from me. He didn't know he's in here, and he heard me say that. Montana says these are awesome. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect. Our beloved Wally Moon is always dishing out surprises. He, whoa, there's a freaking ghost trap in here. Oh no, he he did it. <laughs> why are you? Why did you do this? He did it again. A giant stack of 1990 score Moises Alou rookies. A while back, he sent me a big stack of those after I bought the 89 Tops traded set that was in the moth-eaten box that uh, somebody gave me at a junk store. And I was very grateful. And I was like, oh, that's sweet. A free 89 Tops traded set? Like, thanks, man. And then when I got it home, I opened it, and it was full, full of nothing but 1990 score Moises Alou. So ever since then, it has been an inside joke, and now I have, like, the biggest collection from people sending me all these freaking Moises Alou cards. And Joseph C. actually went out of his way to put them all on top loaders, which probably took him a good hour or so. So you have to commend the man for doing that. So I'll add those to the already growing stack. Check this out. It's a freaking... It is the Ghost Trap... I was actually looking at this yesterday. I guess this is the popcorn bucket from AMC Theaters. And there's another box in here. Like a thousand count box. That's pretty crazy and ironic. Mikey G sends the uh, the soda container, Stay Puffed. And now we have the trap, which trap opening switch. This is freaking sick. Oh, <laughs> oh no. We have Pee Wee Pack. <laughs> what is this? These these are the pack wrappers? I've seen boxes of these, but I've never, ever seen these gigantic pack wrappers. This is absolutely, absolutely epic. I don't even know what to say. I was not expecting that, but I've never seen these, like, these tamper-proof wrappers. I've only seen the wax ones. But Pee Wee's Playhouse packs, this is pretty freaking epic. This trap is, is absolutely amazing, too, by the way. I don't know if it's... Is there a way to close it? Do you have to close it manually? I don't know how to do this. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Very, very cool stuff indeed. And <laughs> Chico ready to swatch by holding the, the katana blade there. Danny Ace is another piece to add to your Ghostbusters collection. Always happy to see that, John. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, that is pretty freaking awesome. That and the Stay Puff Cup. Those are two things that I would not have picked up either because I don't really plan on going to see the new movie. I'm very um, set in my ways. And I, I saw Afterlife, and I didn't really care for it that much, so I decided not to go see the new one. I might watch it at some point, but as of now, I'm not going to. So those are freaking awesome, though, regardless, because um, I wouldn't have picked those up. And they're, like, movie theater exclusive. So we got Chico about the swashbuckle. Maiden says Afterlife sucked. I didn't really care for how they made Harold Ramis out to be a terrible person. The entire movie was like about how he was like a deadbeat dad and everything, and I did not like that. Um, I didn't really care for it at all. Plus, I'm not, I didn't really care. It was like an, you had to wait an hour in the movie to see the first ghost, and like I just feel like their ideas were so recycled. And then one of my biggest gripes about it, I thought the ending was so corny. So Gozer, obviously, they fight Gozer again. Gozer can be whatever it wants to be, obviously. It could be male, female, anything at once as is told in the very first movie. Well, Gozer shows up at the end of the movie as the exact same freaking thing it was in 1984. The same exact costume, different actress playing, but um, same costume, same look, same flat top, everything. I thought that was kind of lame. And I also thought it was kind of lame that the, the guys, our, our heroes, just walked out of the cornfield and they're all like kind of shabby looking and just run down and everything else. And they just say a couple of catchphrases. And I'm like, come on, man. It's freaking lame. The franchise deserves better than this, in my eyes. I mean, a lot of people liked it too, but I didn't really care for it that much. So because of that, I was like, I'm not going to see the new one. But I still will collect stuff, you know, 
Stay Popped, obviously, is centered around the very first movie. The Ghost Trap, you know, stuff like that. I will pick that up, but can't really get into new stuff. And now I guess they're making a new cartoon, which is like, don't do that. Floyd Fence says, John has a billion Moises Alou rookies, but does he have 20 plus 2003 Javi Herrera Protect rookies? Do you have that many? I don't even know if I've ever seen that card before, Floyd fan. 20 plus 2003. You know what I do have? I have like 46 Vaughn Hayes rookies. And um, I also have, I guess I haven't shown these off yet, but yeah, I have quite a lot of Vaughn Hayes rookies. Not really sure what I'm going to do with them, but Vaughn Hayes, one of my arch enemies as a kid, did not like him, or Van Snyder, or Vance Law, someone with the letter V, apparently. But uh, these were in a box, randomly. Was not real happy when I found them. But Vaughn Hayes looks very innocent in that on that photo. Don't let that fool you. I would have been furious as a young whippersnapper back then. I also found, like, 48 Tom Bernanski rookies. So, Lean 92 Studio... And uh, these were cool because of the random facts. His favorite actor is Michael Keaton. Movies Beetlejuice. So, kind of pretty cool stuff there. Listen to salsa music. Ray Miller was his best friend in baseball. I liked uh, to read those when I was a kid. How many white Mike Watkins do you still have? I still have a lot, Nick. Nick sent me, like... I, mean, I still want to know how Nick conjured all those Mike Watkins up. There's probably, like, two... What was it? 200-something in there? Uh, I've sent a lot off to people when they ask for them in auctions, but, like... <laughs> I still have probably 150 left, at least. Steve Klein, dugout dwarf <laughs> I've never seen this card before. What is going on there? That is pretty freaking epic. <laughs> 98 Fleer Ultra. I haven't opened like a whole lot of late 90s Fleer Ultra, or as some people call it, Ultra Fleer. Jean Claude Jean Claude Van Gogh from 92 Pinnacle. I saw this card recently in a box. I've known about it for a long time. Joe's Card Crawl hates this card so bad. I'm pretty sure it's a card that made him hate Jim Gott. Jim Gott, he was actually, I mean, he was good when he pitched for our Buckos. I really didn't really follow him too much um, outside of that, but apparently he was a black belt. And these sidelines cards are pretty cool because they had, uh, I forget who it was, bowling. I think someone was playing pool. It was neat to see those. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. Uncle Rico card, hot gun. The 1990 score football edition. That is pretty freaking epic. Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite, obviously. He's going to toss that pigskin over those mountains. <laughs> I love that card. That is so cool. I feel like you can buy those on eBay pretty easy. There's also a ton of Seinfeld cards on eBay that I think Corey's been buying all up. He became, he's become obsessed with them. Man of John Jab's dreams. It's Doug Drabeck. I almost bought a Pirates program in the late 80s yesterday at an antique mall that had Drabeck on the front. I just felt like compelled to buy it ever since he called me at like 1 o'clock in the morning in my dream. And he was hammered and just like wanted to chat. And I'm like, what's this guy want, you know? And we, <laughs> we, we have side phone cards in here. But that card's pretty ridiculous. And it's like Russian, whatever hat that is. Vote for Pedro. <laughs> Look at this. The Nolan Ryan rookie card, but instead of Nolan Ryan and Jerry Kuzman, it is Kramer and Newman. That is absolutely freaking epic ass, man. And that smile is from the episode where Kramer starts a smoking lounge in his apartment because he, he tries to light up a cigar in the restaurant or the diner and uh, gets thrown out by the cook. And then he goes outside and there's a bunch of smokers outside. He's like, what, they kicked you guys out too? And then he develops empathy for smokers and he decides to open a smoking lounge in his apartment. And within, I think it was within 48 hours or maybe 72 hours, his teeth are all rotted out. And then that's when he files a lawsuit against the tobacco company. And then he settles for, what does he settle for? It's something, I think he settles for himself on a billboard, <laughs> like a Marlboro billboard. And Newman, of course, the mailman. That is freaking epic and I've wanted this card for a while ever since I found out about it. Bob Hamlin, 96 Pinnacle, holding a sign that says Bob Hamlin. He could not look more depressed in that photo. Hating his freaking life. <laughs> Tuna, no, look away, I'm hideous. <laughs> so good, no soup for you. I just saw a picture of the Soup Nazi and uh, who else? Is it Soup Nazi? And there's someone else from the show. I saw it on uh, Facebook recently. That, Bob Hamlin is freaking awesome, though. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but... I go to the background or something. Wally Moon for the rookie box. 54 tops. 
National League Rookie of the Year. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that he was the National League Rookie of the Year in 54. I didn't even realize that was his rookie. I don't think I had that one. But good-looking fellow, Wally Moon, if we could just do something about that connecting bridge right there, which he never got rid of. Even in his old age, Wally Moon still was rocking that freaking caterpillar on his face. He is no longer with us. He passed away. I forget what year he passed away, but it was in the 2000s. And <laughs> look at this. The last card, Pee Wee Herman, the 88 design with a rated rookie on it. Paul freaking Rubens flying through the air with his beloved bike that he goes on a crazy adventure for in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I still, that was my tradition when I was younger. I watched that every single Saturday night. I would stay up till like 2 a.m. and watch Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I was like, this movie freaking rules. I'm probably 10 years old or something like that. Maybe a little bit older, but it was the best. And I'd never seen Big Top Pee Wee. That's one I need to put on my list, but this is absolutely epic. Pee Wee's Playhouse aired from 86 until November 10th, 1990. I used to watch it every single day in the afternoon when it aired. Rubens had originally agreed to do two more seasons after the third one. CBS asked Rubens about the possibility of a sixth season. He declined, wanting to take a sabbatical. He went on to do a lot of Broadway stuff um, in the 2000s, I want to say. Uncle Rico, freaking epic stack of cards right there. We're still not even done yet. We still have Pee-wee packs to open. And this box that I have not looked inside yet. Paul F. City sold on Broadway. That's sick. What was it? Pee-wee on Broadway? Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure. I've never seen that Floyd fan. I remember he was in um, he was in the super the superhero movie uh, in the '90s. That was like his return, I think, to the big screen. From what I understand, I forget the name of the movie. Um, and then he was in Blow, which is a great movie. And I'm not really sure what he did after that. Oh, look at this! This is freaking epic. Was not expecting this whatsoever. I see some of my favorite packs in the world in this box. We have. Tops from 1990 Jumbo Packs here. A 93 Tops Jumbo Pack. Series 1 with Jeter. And my favorite set of all time. Oh, man. Could it be? 92 Bowman Jumbos. That is freaking amazing, man. I love this set so much. I have one sealed box of it, but I have no loose packs. And these are freaking Jumbos, too. I think I've opened two jumbos on this channel of uh, 92 Bowman. I think both boxes, I never pulled the Miller Rivera. I did pull it out of a regular 92 wax box, but not the jumbo. So that is freaking amazing. A regular 93 Top Series 1 pack. We have a jumbo pack, which I couldn't tell you the last time I saw one of these. It's been a very long time. Wally Moon is always scouring eBay, though, so he finds some goodies on there. And check this out. To continue the 90 top search, we have these jumbo rack packs or grocery packs, whatever you may call them. There is a bunch of them in here. That is freaking amazing, man. I will use these for the next 90 tops rip. That's absolutely epic. I'm probably not going to open those all today because we got to have some goodies to look forward to, obviously, but freaking amazing. Whoa, Jeff Mace's, this box is sick as hell. Definitely. An awesome mail day, and we still have these five packs of Pee Wee Tobin. These remind me of the Raleigh Fingers Yak Packs because there's a lot of unused space in here. 1988. So back in 1988, Score was making packs like this, but that was it. Everything else was wax wrappers. Very interesting. Are these reprints almost? I feel like they might be. I can't see these being made in 88. But they really resemble it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> we have Jombie looking super creepy there. The hologram card. Pee Packs have tattoos in them. <laughs> what are these? are freaking epic. Where did you get these? They're like tarot cards. There is Randy. What do you get when you cross a pig with a motorcycle? What? <laughs> I don't even know what to make of these. And we have some actual cards too, but Miss Vaughn sticker. These are so freaking awesome. Lenticular Pee Wee. Paul says they've been using those packs in non-sports in the 70s. Did they really? I've never seen them before. And here's the tattoos. Playhouse tattoos. These are freaking awesome. I'm going to take these and oh, I, I should make, I don't know. 
for my full sleeve video that is coming sometime in the future, we have all of the tattoos from 2013 Trill Play. They're just my player's name. All over the place. So we have those to use. And now, Pee Wee tattoos. These are so much cooler. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> That's a perfect one for the neck. Got to use that one for neck tat. And here is the actual cards. Boxes of these aren't cheap. Uh, regular wax boxes are like 100 bucks. They're close to it. You have Cherry and Pee Wee having a great time. Why don't we stroll over my toy box? I need to get the actual Pee Wee's Playhouse uh, toy set. They're not that expensive and uh, sealed. They're a few hundred bucks. I've seen them a couple times and passed on them. But there's Lawrence Fishburne. I feel like a lot of people don't realize Lawrence Fishburne um, of The Matrix and all of these other movies, John Wick and everything else. He was originally on Pee Wee's Playhouse as the freaking cowboy. So that is pretty epic. Lenticular Pee-wee. we still got three packs of this left. I feel like we need to open a whole case of these. <laughs> Larry the Cowboy. Nick West says those are all automatic PSA 10s. They're pack pulled, so that means they definitely are. Cowboy Curtis. And the next one. These are freaking sick. Never touched air. Look at that. Oh, it's so epic. I need to open a ton of these packs. I need to see the whole set. And we have this same card again. Randy Bowling, everyone. Can count on you to have some fun wax. Pee-wee Darbhead. What's going on, man? Yeah, I've never seen it before, but they are super cool. The tattoos. <laughs> Look at that one. Put, uh, put the Pee-wee one on one side of your neck and then the Jombie one on the other one. Oh, there's so many cool ones in here. This is freaking epic. We got to make a video using those. Have to. There's <laughs> Shoppy again. I want the whole set of these. You're only as beautiful as you feel, and I feel wonderful. Vaughn, once again, there's Terry. Randy called me a baby. I'm not a baby. And what is this? <laughs> That's so awesome. Pee Wee's Fun Park Checklist. Pop count to one. <laughs> We've got two packs left. So much fun. And the next one, there is. What was what was his name? I completely forget. It's been a long time since I've seen the show. I'm sure one of you guys remember. I completely forget. Is Pee Wee too busy smoking? Yeah, we, we need to have Pee Wee on the set for this. I don't know what we were thinking not having him here. But he is pretty excited, as you can tell, to uh, have these packs open after all these years. Yeah, he's going to join us for a little bit. At least his feet will. He, he currently has a cigarette in his mouth. He just lit it up after he came and made his appearance. I think it was his cool cat. That sounds. That does sound familiar. Wasn't there a whole cat jazz band? I, that, I think there was, but... I don't know if they have individual names or not. I thought they did. It was Cool Cat, Darbhead says. <laughs> Watch me dance. Man, the next dance, punch out holes, insert fingers, and boogie. That sounds dirty, and it sounds pretty freaking epic. At the same time, another sticker checklist, Playhouse Cinema. Pee-wee and a cinema in the same sentence. Probably not a great combination. Stack cards in order, hold in left hand. Again, sounds dirty. Cinema, flip with right. <laughs> no comment on that. And the cards of this pack, what does cha-cha mean, Pee-wee? It's a magic, it's a dance magic screen, duh. I knew that I was just making a, <laughs> I knew that I was just making conversation. I said it all the time. I had a feeling I got that from somewhere. It's always fun to just make up something really random or just tell a blatant lie. And when someone calls you out, I want to say, yeah, I know, it's was main conversation. And that's where I got that from, like, way back in 1988. I use it a lot. I never knew it was from Pee Wee, though. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let the cartoon begin. I forget his name, too. But I had his figure at one point. I think I sold it. It was very dirty. The King of Town. You know Billy Baloney. <laughs> Of course I do. I am Billy Baloney. I forgot about so many of these characters. I, I would literally watch that show every single day. The King of Cartoons, that's who it was. The King of Cartoons. Yeah, I had the uh, 
the bendable figure I picked up somewhere. It was like really filthy on the card, and I decided that I think I sold it like five years ago. I think I actually found it out in Lancaster, some place I need to head out to again here sometime soon, and I will. Well, at least the coalition is pretty good for these tattoos. We got a Randy. Tattoos is bad news. That's a pretty sick one right there. And we have one pack left. Cowboy Curtis, Conky, Miss Vaughn, Came Cartoons, Countess, Terry, Randy, Globy, Mr. Kite. And the list goes on. There's a lot of them. There's definitely ones, other ones as well. And we got John B. again. Looking super creepy, as he typically did. <laughs> that is epic. That is the same thing as taped to the box. Mecha, lecha, mecha, honey, ho. <laughs> Hi, gang. <laughs> Punch out, stick on your nose. Oh, that is pretty sick. I got to do that. I got to take a picture and use that as a thumbnail. I don't know if my nose would fit in there, but I'm going to try it anyways and use it for the thumbnail. Hole in one, hole in one, what? Pee playing baseball. What position are you playing? Right field, left? Yeah, left out. <laughs> and then there's this one again. Cherry and Pee Wee. And the Playhouse Cinema. And some stickers here. Bo Jace is a pretty good shop in Lancaster. I'm not talking about that outlet place. Stick your nose in it. Put that pick on your <laughs> Tinder profile. I don't have a Tinder profile, but I want to make one just for that. And it looks like we got the same ones yet again. This one kind of got muffed up from the pack was sealed, but I do have another one. John B. Tattoos. But those are freaking amazing. I feel like I need to get a box of those if it's even possible to find one. I think those are more fun than the actual wax packs because of all the extras you get with them. The, the lenticular peewee cards and the tattoos and everything else. What an epic freaking mail day is all that I have to say to that. I'm glad I did this live so that uh, the suspense was not ruined. That's the best part about doing it live is uh, I have no idea what's in any of these packages. You got Stay Puffed, the Stay Puffed Cup, the Ghost Trap, all kinds of freaking sick packs. The little legs of Pee Wee. And just uh, so much freaking epicness. So that is, that's it for this video. You guys freaking rule. Uh, if you want to send anything for a Mailbag Monday, the address will be down below. I will link uh, the eBay store of Junk Wax Dude as well if you guys want to check him out and uh, even get some custom cards made. Oh, so many goodies. And um, tomorrow night, I'll be back live for 2006 Fleer Tradition. Looking for actual autographed rookie cards of the kid himself. Actual 1934 Gaudi cards and a bunch of other autos and inserts. Kind of a rare box to uh, find these. So rip into that tomorrow night. Wednesday will be doing another live auction. And Thursday will be, um, I, have, I don't even know yet. We have to do Needle and Wax Stack one night. And uh, I have the um, Trash Bag Wax products. We'll be opening those this week. Two products from them. So that will be coming later on. So you'll probably be seeing me an awful lot this week. Probably too much. But um Absolutely amazing stuff. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys all for watching and being here. And uh, I will hopefully see you all back tomorrow night for 2006 Fleer Tradition. Have a great night, guys.